Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott here. Today's video is pretty exciting as Playground Games have released Series 24 for Forza Horizon 4, bringing some new cars as usual and a new challenge, but I'm just going to be focusing on the epic 2019 Zenvo TSRS and just how to unlock it. This one is quite easy, uh, it involves a new photo challenge which rewards players for taking a photo of a certain car at a certain location in the game. So let's jump in. Okay, so the new challenge. So we're looking for avid photographers to get the best shots around the festival. Follow the instructions listed on the festival playlist to complete the photo challenge. When you think you've got the right shot, take a photo and see how it looks. Okay, so pretty straightforward. If you're starting at the festival, all you need to do is drive about 100 meters up the road and you're basically at the destination. You can see the festival stage is right here. So just set the car in front of it, just like this. You can see someone's already gotten his Zenvo. Wait for him to go. Okay, so you need to take a photo of the actual stage. So I did this the first time and I didn't get it. So I backed out and you just have to go a little higher. You must get the stage in. And I think the car, so I just zoomed out a little bit. Um, and then just like that, you see the two ticks. I mean, it is what it is, but anyway. What makes the Zenvo TSRS so special is that it has something that we've never really seen before. I mean, we've all heard of Activero and we've seen the flaps moving, we've seen air brakes deploying, but the Zenvo's party piece comes from its centripetal rear wing, which will tilt to provide downforce to whichever side the car needs grip the most. It's quite surreal. Now, the Zenvo is relatively unknown in the hypercar world, but the TRS TSRS is definitely here to make a dramatic statement. It is Denmark's only com car company and it has been building cars since about 2007. The numbers are very small as you have guessed with less than 25 over the company's lifetime. But just like Koningsegg in Sweden, instead of them relying on suppliers, they do an awful lot of the work themselves. This means they don't really rely on crate motors from Ford or GM and instead it has its own 5.8 liter twin supercharged V8. This produces in and around 1200 brake horsepower and something that weighs less than 1.5 tons is incredible. 0 to 60 happens in about 2.8 seconds, 0 to 124 miles an hour in under 7 seconds? Unbelievable. But more on this wing, I mean how it works is that if you go into right-hander, the wing leans left, like it's falling off due to g-force. And the airflow is reorientated, helping to add pressure down through the stanchions, back towards the inside of the car. While the pitch of the wing varies infinitely depending on a wide range of parameters, i.e. the speed, the g-force, acceleration and brakes, the wing leans straight to 15 degrees, activated once it detects 0.5 of a lateral loading and then pull briskly over the hydraulic rams. Its best party piece though is that it can waggle its tail while it's parked. I mean, who wouldn't want to see this out of cars and coffee, it waggling its tail. Anyway guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.